Hello everyone. The Web Security Sting with Bowser is a project that is trying to answer the question, can you perform a complete web application security testing just by using a browser? Even though it's very hard to cover all the web app related test cases just by using a browser, a good amount of coverage can be guaranteed. Over the last couple of months, I have come across multiple situations that led me to do research on this particular topic. One such occasion was when I was attending a readout meeting. During the readout meeting, I was asked multiple times by the stakeholders to reduce the likelihood of the vulnerabilities just because exploiting them requires using tools like Bob Suit and SAP. This made sense from their point of view because the application was an internal application which can only be accessed from a workstation that is not connected to the internet. The workstation was locked up pretty well, so you cannot launch any other application other than Notepad, your browsers, and calculator. However, I told them that it is possible to exploit all the vulnerabilities listed in the report just by using any of the latest browsers. They were not convinced at it first, but I was able to show them how to do the same with the help of Mozilla Firefox. I mean, majority of the people sitting in that particular room didn't knew the capabilities of modern browsers and that made me thinking if it is possible to perform some of the web app related security cases from one browser you can sure do the same or better with other browsers as well the research i focused was on what are the web application security related test cases that can be performed by using the browsers this research did not cover what can be done with the help of browser extensions. Most of the popular browsers out there supports installing extensions these days and there are a lot more things that can be done with the help of extensions. To show the power of browsers built in features to test web applications, I have developed a small CTF that can be solved just by using the browser. I call it Bricktown and you can get it from GitHub. The application is built on PHP and can be downloaded for free from there. Now let's get started with the CTF. I have the CTF running over here. Uh, this is the welcome page of the CTF. Now let's get started with the CTF. On the first page we have to change the user agent of the browser to successfully complete the stage. For that we had to go to about config of the browser uh, in the case of Firefox and create a new string called general user agent override. We can set any value for this user agent. I'm setting it security compass as this is required for this stage to complete. Great. Let's move on to step two. Here we have to edit the post data and change it to security compass so that we can pass this stage. This form input is not non-editable, so you can't directly go and change the value there. So let's go ahead and create the request again and we will edit and resend the data with the name value set as security compass to complete this stage. Let's send it. We can't see the response right now, so we have to open it in a new tab, and that seems successful. So we have to change the cookie value here. It can be done by going to storage and by double clicking on the cookie value. And we can change it to any string we want. I'm setting it to security combos. And I'll refresh the page and see if it goes through. Nice. Now we will move on to step four. Here, we, similar to editing cookie, we have to change the local storage value. Again, we have to double click on the local storage value to edit it. Let's refresh the page again and see what's the result. 
Great. Let's move on to step 5. On this particular step, we have to disable the CSS so that we can see the hidden value. On some browsers, you can do it from the menu itself, but on the other browsers, you have to enter some JavaScript so JavaScripts on to the console so that you can disable the CSS. Now that the CSS is disabled, we can see the value. Uh, let's enter it and yeah, great. Now let's move on to step seven. Here we have to get a four digit value from the header of the HTTP response. So let's inspect the HTTP response header. For that, we have to go to the network tab and refresh the page again. And we, we can f see the HTTP response header from the headers tab. We can see the header name monster and the values 5643. Let's enter that value here and submit the form. Great. Let's move on to step eight. Here we have to decode this particular base64 encoded value and this can be done from the browser's console itself. All we have to do is to issue a to b command and provide the encoded value to get the decoded result. Okay, the value seems to be 8526. Nice. Let's move on to step number nine. On step number nine, we have to enter some special characters onto the input field but it looks like some JavaScript code is preventing us from doing so. So this particular step can be solved by disabling JavaScript on the page. And almost all the browsers have this feature available on their settings. Well, we have co successfully completed all the steps on the CTF. Uh, thanks for watching.